Robin, issue number four from DC Comics. So this has been a really good series so far, which is saying a lot coming from me because anyone who has never watched any of my videos before, I absolutely despise Damien. I hate his character. I, I just, I really don't like him. I find him annoying. I think the only thing that I actually enjoyed that had him in it was Super Sons, other than this series. So yeah, the fact that this series has actually made me like Damien, or at least, you know, I'm rooting for him. It tells you a lot about how good the writing is. <laughs> in the last issue, Damien fought Hawk, who is Oliver Queen's son. And Hawk basically threw Damien off a cliff. And right before he hit the rocks below, he was saved. And it looked like he was saved by Ra's al Ghul. And it turns out that, uh, yeah, that's what happened. So he wakes up and uh, Goliath is there standing over him. And it turns out that Goliath caught him before he hit the rocks. And Damon goes outside and discovers that he's on another island. Not the island where the tournament's being held. And on this island, uh, Razar Gruel, his grandfather, is living there as uh, some kind of yoga instructor, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, Raz is just chilling, doing yoga on a rock, meditating on life, I guess. And, um, yeah, basically this whole issue is just him and Damien kind of chatting it up and how, uh, Damien is angry at Ra's al Ghul and thinks he's a villain and Ra's al Ghul is kind of like, stop, you know, relying on your emotions too much. You know, you, you need to, to relax and you need to think, plan your actions before you just jump right into them. You got to stop being so headstrong. And then meanwhile, we cut to Ravenger who was trying to find Damien and, uh, she comes across... This guy named Respawn, who is basically a parody of Deadpool, who himself is a parody of Deathstroke. So I guess we kind of go full circle here. And Respawn is killing this dude and uh, talking to Ravager. Ravager is basically like, you know, I have, I'm looking for someone and I, I have all, all the time in the world because the tournament doesn't fi start until all the fighters are dead at least once. And Respawn's like, yeah, that you're right, including you. And so he stabs her and kills Ravager. And Ravager is going to get brought back to, to life later that night. And then the tournament's going to officially begin. Meanwhile, back to Damien. Um, he's trying to fix uh, the ship that Ra's al Ghul used to get to this island. And um, yeah, we basically have a montage of Ra's al Ghul trying to get Damien to, to use his mind rather than just his body. Like, there's more to fighting than just physical. Like, if you want to win this tournament, you got to do more than just heal your body. You need to train your mind. So we get a, a mind training montage where we see them meditating on rocks, uh, playing chess, doing um, Tai Chi, spear fishing. And then, um, yeah, Ra's al basically talks about how once uh, Batman and the Outsiders beat him, he kind of, and he lost everything. He lost the Empire. He lost his family. He decided, you know what? I'm just going to go on vacation. <laughs> Like, I'm just going to go chill out at a beach for a while, you know? I guess he just got tired of getting his butt kicked. I was like, you know what, dude? I can't blame you. If I had the opportunity to just take a, a ship and fly to a deserted beach and just chill and relax, I'll totally do that. So, yeah, Ross is just chilling. Basically, he he became, um, what's that guy? He reminds me of Johnny Depp's character from the, the SpongeBob cartoon series. Johnny, Johnny Depp's guest starred in one episode of spongebob and it was an episode where they go to like they, they they go surfing and they get stranded on this island they meet like the greatest surfer ever and he's just like super like and he's just like you know completely like namaste and totally yoga out and stuff that's basically raz our goal raz our goal is just like a yoga dude now chilling watching the stars meditating doing yoga and tai chi and stuff and uh yeah he basically tells damien like hey like your greatest enemy is yourself because um, you you're too headstrong. Like you're, you're you're there's too much turmoil and rage in your heart, and you got to just relax and let it go. You can't have all the stress building up, otherwise it's going to get to you. And then while uh, Ra's al Ghul is talking and going on his monologue, Damon sneaks out and steals the the ship and flies back to the tournament island, where he discovers that there's some ninjas who are talking about this book. That's like really special. Like Damien even asks, like, what kind of book is worth the secret to immortality? So yeah, Damien's trying to figure out what's going on. And there's some more, but I'm not going to spoil it. 
But yeah, this was uh, an interesting issue. It's basically um, Razor Ghoul becomes a uh, becomes a yoga teacher and basically teaches Damien some DDP yoga. <laughs> no, it's basically just Razor Ghoul and Damien kind of bonding and stuff. And well, at least not really bonding, but just kind of having this this talk. And Razor Ghoul is like just really chilled out. Probably smoked a bunch of grass or something. I don't know. But this is an interesting take on Razor Ghoul. And, uh, yeah, not much else really happens. This is basically Damien learning that, you know, he needs to train his mind, not just his body. He needs to let go of all his rage and stress and emotions. He has to learn to control his emotions more. And, um, that's pretty much it. It was okay. I get what they're going for here. Obviously, I would have liked, like, some action scenes, you know? Like, this is supposed to be, like, a fighting tournament arc. So I would like some fighting in my issues. But obviously, I guess, you know, not every issue can have, you know, fighting in action. Like, we got, a, we got a fight scene in the last issue. And previous issues, we had some fight scenes and stuff like that. So this is more like the, just like the downtime kind of issue. The, what, what I actually call the, the breather issues. Basically, it gives the audience a chance to breathe. I don't really know if you need breather issues when it comes to comics. Because comics, you're not really binge reading comics. You're, you're waiting... Anywhere from two weeks to a month to sometimes, you know, three months before you get your, your hands on the next issue. So that's enough time to, to breathe in between issues. Because, uh, yeah, breathers are basically like in movies. You can't have nonstop action. Like, you have to give the audience a chance to, to, to relax and just kind of breathe. And that's when you usually have, like, the character developments and exposition and stuff like that. And that's basically what this is. So, um... It's fine for what it is. I mean, for uh, a breather issue, it's good. But obviously, I got, it doesn't it doesn't stand up to the previous issue because the previous issue kind of had everything. It had some uh, some character development as well as a fighting scene. Like I like the previous issue more. But this isn't a bad issue. The series is still good and entertaining so far. But what I give this issue, maybe like a six out of ten. It was fine. It was above average. Overall, I mean, I'm I'm still gonna stick with the. I I like I said like, I don't hate it. Six out of ten is not bad. Like, a 5 out of 10 is, is just an, an average issue. Like, for me, uh, I say this all the time, but I don't listen to, like, you know, like, the IGN and, and other stuff where it's, like, it has to be a 7 or more for it to be good. A 6 is above average. So this is above average issue. This would be, like, a C plus. Like, it's not terrible. It's above average. Um, overall, the series has been pretty good. Like, if you like tournament arcs, like, if you like, you know, watching anime or reading manga... And you're a huge fan of tournament arcs that you usually see in uh, shonen stories. Then you're you're gonna enjoy this. If you liked uh, Enter the Dragon, you're gonna like this. If you like Mortal Kombat, which itself was basically a copy of Enter the Dragon, then yeah, that's that's basically what this is. This is basically Enter the Dragon with Damien as the main character instead of Bruce Lee. So yeah, it was it was um it was a decent issue. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Tell me what you think. If you guys have been enjoying this series so far, you got any recommendations, let me know. Recommendations for comics, manga, any of that. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.